uh, I'm going to discuss about neck dissection. Uh, before going into the neck dissection, the basic anatomy you should know. That is the levels of lymph nodes. So, what are the how many levels are there? Levels of lymph nodes. There are in the neck. There are six levels are there. Level one again it is divided into one A and one B. One A it is nothing but submental lymph node. One A. <coughs> one B is submandibular. 1B is submandibular lymph node. Okay, next comes the level 2, 3, 4. So these 2, 3, 4 you can call it as jugular, jugular lymph node. Okay, jugular. This jugular lymph node, the 2 is upper jugular, 2 is upper jugular, 3 is middle jugular, and level 4 is the lower jugular. Again, this 2A, 2B is divided based on the spinal accessory nerve. So, this is what you are seeing is the spinal accessory nerve. Anterior to the spinal accessory nerve, that is 2A. Posterior to the spinal accessory nerve, that is 2B. And the level 5 is called as posterior triangle. Posterior triangle. The lymph node that are present in the posterior triangle. Okay. Next, level 6 lymph node. Level 6 lymph node, which is nothing but which is nothing but central compartment or anterior compartment. Most commonly, you will have the pretracheal lymph node and then paratracheal lymph node, then prelaryngeal lymph node and paralaryngeal lymph node. Okay, so these are the lymph nodes that are present in the central compartment. Then level 7, which is nothing but it is, you can call it as superior, superior mediastinal lymph node. Okay, so totally there are seven level uh, levels are there in the uh, in the neck neck nodes. Okay, next we are going to discuss about uh, types of neck dissection. Okay, first one is the radical neck dissection. Okay, radical neck dissection. What is this radical neck dissection? Which is nothing but it is otherwise called as Kreil's radical neck dissection. Okay, here you are going to remove some structure. That is, the first one is a lymph node. You are going to remove the lymph node. That is, level 1, 2, level 5, you are going to remove. Number 2, you are going to remove one gland that is called a submandibular gland. And number 3, you are going to remove one nerve that is spinal accessory nerve. Then you are going to remove one vein that is internal jugular vein, IJV. And finally, you are going to remove one muscle that is sternocleidomastoid muscle. So, all these structures you are going to remove that is called a radical neck dissection. And this procedure is modified. It is called as modified radical neck dissection. Okay. Here again, there are three types are there. Type 1 is where definitely in all MR and D, you will take the lymph nodes. That is level 1, 2, 5 lymph nodes you are going to remove. And along with that, you are going to preserve the structure. For example, in type 1, you are going, the, this, among these three structures, you are going to preserve the structure. Okay, Type 1 means you are going to preserve one structure, that is spinal accessory. Now, you are going to preserve. And type 2, this section, where you will preserve two structures, that is spinal accessory now plus IJV. Okay, and then level 3, sorry, type 3 that is called MR and D type 3, there you will preserve all the three structure that is spinal accessory now, IJV plus sternocleidomastoid muscle. So, this type 3 is otherwise called as, type 3 is otherwise called as functional neck dissection, functional neck dissection which is commonly indicated in case of papillary CA of the thyroid where uh, along with the total thyroidectomy you can plan for this type 3 functional neck dissection. Okay, this MRD otherwise you can call it as Bocas, Bocas neck dissection. Okay, so this is about the radical R&D and uh, MRD. Now we are going to discuss about selective neck dissection. 
selective neck dissection what is this selective neck dissection so this selective neck dissection is ideally indicated in cases of nodal status n0 okay so there are some uh, types are there in selective neck dissection number one is supra homo hyoid neck dissection supra homo hyoid neck dissection that means supra homoid that means you are going to remove the levels 1 2 3 it is called a supra homo hyoid neck dissection with the preservation of all the three structures next one is the extended next one is the extended supra homo hyoid neck dissection here you are going to remove 1 2 then 3 then 4 lymph node this is extended supra homoid neck dissection then anterior lateral anterior lateral neck dissection anterior lateral neck dissection which means you are going to remove the level 2 3 4 this is called anterior lateral neck dissection similarly you will have the posterior lateral neck dissection which is nothing but we are going to take 2 3 4 and 5 also including suboccipital lymph node and retro auricular lymph node okay and last one is the uh, anterior or central dissection anterior or anterior or central dissection which is nothing but dissection of the level 6 lymph node okay commonly indicated in thyroid surgery okay so these are all types of neck dissection okay so radical neck dissection mrnd and selective neck dissection